see how this works. Yes. So you gotta have a rod holder, right? Angle this up. If you're on a kayak or on your paddle board, real convenient here. Let me see. I didn't even notice that. Let's show, let's show you how crazy this is. Take the reel off the rod. We're gonna cast out the reel on there. To make it lighter and easier to cast. Cast all day long without wearing out your arm, wearing out your shoulder. And then it's that quick, just slide the reel back on. See, so here, it's locked on your chest, and just like that, it's back on your rod. So as a doctor, you probably, you know, people with shoulder, shoulder injuries, shoulder, yeah. exactly. Tendonitis in the elbow, to make it lighter and easier to cast. We actually guarantee you'll cast farther. When we're casting, it's always this line, we're flinging all over, that gets tangled on stuff. Yeah. When it's on your chest, see how the line doesn't move. You're not gonna be tangling up, you're not gonna be tangling up, you know, your kayak, your pontoon boats. That is ingenious. Thank you. What is so the name of the company? Rexfly. And where can someone find you? We're at rexfly.com. Yeah, so this allows amputees, anyone who has just use of one arm, to be able to, they can cast, stick it on there, fight a fish. You can change the angle on this, angle it down. So now you can have the tip of the rod right in the water if you want. That is sweet. So this is really nice. So all you do is you grab your line, flip your bail, push down with the heel of your hand, and now you're casting. And you can, you, know, you can jig a rod right there. It's locked on, it's not going anywhere. Change the angle if you want. So this, it's also nice if someone you know, you also have people that just have a hard time holding a rod with one hand and reeling, right? Right. So if someone has arthritis, maybe they can use both hands to cast. They need help when they're fighting a fish. They can leave it there and they can actually fight a fish right here. You know, I, I got tendonitis in my elbow from casting so much. I had to make it lighter and easier to cast. And that's how I came up first with the Rex Fly and found out it worked great for, you know, people with one arm. That's why we donate them to uh, Project Healing Water so veterans can fly fish Good for you. and then uh, figured you know how can we make this work for you know other fishing bait casting spinning rods so we've customized these fishing rods now so people with spinning rods bait casters can can uh, fish and Rex where are you out of uh, we're out of Sandy Utah well Beth and I are walking around the International Sportsman's Expo we got in early so we can walk around and it's always fun to visit with uh, interesting vendors and take a look at interesting products. Okay, one of my problems is I get distracted. Too much very cool gear. Arguing with your spouse about alignment? <laughs> Does that ever happen? No. Overshooting the ball and damaging your vehicle. Luckily, we haven't had that happen and we never want to have that happen to Big Red. We have come but, close to arguing. Yes, but the wingman I think is something we're we gonna have to, to buy. At. Yeah, definitely. Found the saddles, I see. <laughs> of course. That is very cool. So where was that converted? Um, we sent it back to the Amish, and uh, we just sent the whole machine to them. Told them that we wanted it converted to a handheld model. They, now, which one of you is the powerhouse that cranks? I actually did this today. Did you really? Normally, he would do it. Back in the old days, before, you know, we became high tech, this is how we mixed it. I mixed this in about five minutes. That is, this is the International Dutch Oven Society World Championship Cook-Off. Each team is preparing to present their desserts at this time. Okay, this is taking Dutch oven cooking to a whole nother level. Absolutely fascinating. 